Hello again, welcome to the next instalment of A Year in Beer, our uh, video blog about beer and seasonality. Now we've just had our traditional February cold snap here in Leeds, there was a little bit of snow, a lot of very cold wind, and so it seems appropriate that, uh, that this week's beer is uh, a proper winter warmer. Uh, it's from the Old Bear Brewery uh, in Keithley, Duke of Bronte, Capstan FS, full strength. Now it's, uh, it's a very strong barley wine, in fact I think it's currently the strongest beer in, in regular production in the UK. So without further ado, let's get into this little baby and see what it's all about. Uh, you might notice that we're using a, a nice big bulbous burgundy glass this week. Um, that's to allow for the proper swilling and uh, nosing. And actually that's fantastic, it's a little bit paler than I expected. Got a slight sediment haze on it. This beer is bottled completely unfiltered. Um, it has it takes a week to ferment. It's conditioned for a month in barrel, and then they age it in bottle for two months prior to release. Hmm, got a lovely pale peachy colour there. Oh, that's really interesting because what I was expecting was a really big kind of powerful fruity alcoholic aroma but what in fact what it's more like is uh, the Trappist triple style very pale slightly herbal edge maybe just a, a suggestion of kind of pepperiness and, and sort of fresh green herbs and a, and a slightly medicinal phenolic edge which drinkers of Isla Malt will recognize as, as kind of slight smokiness tariness sort of phenolic TCP a medicinal quality to it almost mm. Mm. And again, on the palate, what a surprise. It's almost completely dry. You would expect a lot of residual sweetness in a beer like this. It, it's just right. It's got enough kind of sweetness and sugar left in to give it a bit of body. Very crisp, very clean. A nice kind of hot bite. And again, that slightly smoky medicinal edge developing towards the end of the, uh, towards the, end of the swallow. Well, what a lovely surprise. I mean, what, what I was expecting was, was a big, dark, sweet beer with lots of hops thrown in to counteract it. And instead, it's something quite different. It's something very, very elegant. Sure, it's strong. It's 12.5% this beer. You know, you get an idea that it's a strong beer, but there isn't any of that kind of cloying residual sweetness that you get. This is a lovely, lovely beer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to work through the whole bottle of it this evening, but I'm certainly going to give it a go. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.